Okay, so this video is um, a continuation or building off the program we wrote uh, where we described how to do intersection of code. And so if, uh, to run this program so you can see what it does, I've got a program right now which basically has Zargon moving across the screen. And as soon as it hits Boron, he gets a point. Um, and so for this game, what we're going to have is um, as soon as um, Zargon hits Boron, we want to give ourselves a point, um, and we want Boron to turn off so we don't see him on the screen anymore because he has ceased to exist because of the green slime level, right? Um, and so uh, this is called a Boolean variable, uh, or at least one way of doing this is a Boolean variable. So uh, what a Boolean variable is is a, val a value that is either true or false. It either is or it isn't. And that makes sense in, in the context that we're talking about right now because uh, Boron either shows up on the screen or he doesn't. All right, and so what a great use of a variable, which is the same style of variable. It either is or it isn't. It does or it doesn't. So we're actually going to create a variable, which we'll actually use. And we'll say, hey, listen, if, Zor if Boron is supposed to show up on the screen, then please do it. And if he's not, then don't. So we're going to try to emulate that with code. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top of the screen with our variables, and we're going to create a variable. Okay, and it is called a Boolean variable. Okay, and Boolean is just a variable that has one of two possible values, true or false. Um, and this one is going to determine or keep track of whether or not Boron is supposed to show up on the screen. Okay, um, so let's think of a good, a good uh, variable name for that. Um, how about Boron, Boron show on screen? Well, that's a long variable name, but actually it makes sense. If that value is true, we do show him. If it's false, we don't show him. Okay, so question. What would the initial value of that variable be, true or false? Do we want him to show on the screen? We sure do. Okay, so uh, equals true, and you will see true actually change color because it's an actual variable uh, value. Okay, so um, let me show you how you're going to use this. Okay, um, scroll down to a couple of things. Okay, we're going to go down to our draw code where we have Zargon and Boron drawing. And we're going to add in an if statement in the middle of our draw statement because we do want to draw Boron, but only in certain scenarios. Okay, One of those scenarios is if the value, you know, if we're supposed to draw him on the screen, if that value is true, then let's draw him on the screen. So the way we say that is we do an if statement and we have our condition. Okay, And, and the condition is Boron show on screen if that value is equal to true. And so the way you'll say that is with a double equal statement. And you're checking for equality. Okay, and we want to see, hey, is is the uh, boron show on the screen Boolean variable that we created up here? Um, is it true? Well, sure it is, because we made it true to begin with, and we haven't changed it. So sure it's true, so it should work right now. But let's do one more thing. Um, I am going to, because I want all my if statements, the result of all my ifs should always be in a squiggly bracket. So if this condition is true, I want this action to happen. If we're supposed to show Boron on the screen, then go ahead and show him on the screen. So if we run this now, you know, think in your head, would, would he show up on the screen? Well, let's go try it. Sure he does. Yeah, and he doesn't disappear because we haven't really written any code to make him disappear. We want him to disappear. Okay, um, and so we didn't really change anything except get ourselves ready. Okay, so if you think to yourself, what would have to change and when would it have to change such that Boron disappears and stops showing up on the screen? Because most of the game, he will be on the screen. There's only certain scenarios where he should stop being on the screen. We'll say that once Zargon hits Boron, okay, uh, give myself a point. Okay. Okay. And let's let him disappear, because he's he's gone. He's 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 history, right? Okay. So in addition to giving myself at one point, I'm going to change the value of that variable to false. Okay. And so the moment that the very instant, and we know this is executing 60 times a second. So within one sixtieth of a second of those two intersecting each other. Boron should cease to exist. Okay, so let's see if that actually works. Okay, la da 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 da. Boom. 
All right. And so if you think of why that happened, okay, uh, when we created boron on screen, we created that boolean variable, we set it equal to true. Yes, I do want boron to show on the screen. That is a true statement. I do want that to happen. Okay. And so that will remain true forever. Okay, unless somebody changes that value. So our, our if statement down here basically says, hey, listen, if that value is true, and only if that value is true, let's draw him on the screen. Should that ever cease to happen? Should this not be a truth? Should this be inaccurate? Then we will skip over this code right here. Okay, and so our code says, okay, um, if Zargon ever intersects Boron, in addition to giving ourselves a one point, Boron is no longer supposed to show up on the screen. He turns to false. Okay, um, and so just um, um, run that one more time to verify that. So true, 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 false, false, and it's just false from now on. Nothing else makes it true again unless we had some kind of reset button or something like that. So that is one way you might use Boolean variables to uh, make pictures turn on and turn off.